So, hey lovelies, it's your girl Swan Create here, and I want to draw over a drawing I already done. So it's a redraw video. I don't know. So I've had this idea for a while now because I want to see how far my skills have grown, and I just wanted to redraw something I did that I was super proud of years ago. Was it years ago? A while ago and I just wanted to see how my progress has gone and the thing is my tripod has broken Who is that? Anyway, my tripod has broken so most of the videos I'm doing so forth will, will be digital because I'm learning from that Saturday's video where I was using my short tripod to flame it, it the angles weren't great so things will be digital for a while now until I could buy a tripod. So let me get the artwork for you guys to see. Where did I put it? It was, I think I paint colored it using markers. So that means I used one of my old sketch books. So I found it. This is this is her. So yeah. Can you even see her properly? Like so my analysis when I was drawing this is that she's a gatherer or something. She goes to different planets. No wait, I more think like maybe her her planet is dying. It's like the most typical thing. Her planet is dying. So she and other People of her kind will go to other countries, I say countries, other worlds to study it, not to destroy it and take it back to their planet to make it better. They're just trying to study the other Earth's pattern and see if it could work to help bring back their, their world to life because it's dying. It's dying. My gosh, my niece is super loud. Seriously, she's like, so loud. But anyhow, so before they keep interrupting anymore, I'm going to revision this and I will change some stuff because how does this skirt make sense? Does it make sense to you? No it does not. But anyhow, I'm going to redraw this so come on lovelies to the computer! Yay! Yay! <laughs> Hello again lovelies. So glad to see you here on my computer again. <laughs> and I changed a lot with this illustration. So I didn't want to draw the exact same thing just updated. I just wanted to go about how I would approach this type of drawing idea today. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Like how would I come up with this idea? How would I execute the idea? Of that 2017 paint um, illustration compared to today and seriously just looking at the old illustration I just wanted to show as much skin as I could because I can draw clothes well as you can see from that first drawing I can draw clothes well so I and I got a, I was proud of how I drew body so I was just wanting to draw 
show as much body as possible so you could see the shape and I was really happy I was like oh my gosh she looks so good when I completed that illustration and then looking at it today I'm like yeah no. <laughs> What was I thinking? That skirt idea. What the heck is that skirt idea? I was like, what, what, what? And I just wanted to her to be like an aerial. So I gave her face markings. I gave her leg markings or some no, thigh. Thigh markings for some reason. And I just want didn't think it true. I just basically ram as much things that can make her alien and um, it doing air quotes alien like as I could and I thought yep done that's it and I moved on the rock is totally plagiarized I found it on Pinterest and I'm really shocked at how closely <laughs> I drew that to compare to the original post so this time I did a gem and I was like, <laughs> so it's just like critiquing myself. I was like, oh my God, what was I thinking? And then I was using markers. I do not like to use markers again. I have some markers here. I might use it sometime. I got rid of all the dry ones and I just have a bunch here that I don't use. So, I oh, no, I just don't like markers. Maybe I should do a video about I color with markers again after how much years. Just don't like markers anymore. And yeah, it's just like I just looking at this illustration now. Her eyes are wonky. I can't I can't make fun of myself for this skill because that was the part of my journey that I was at. But and I was really proud because at that time it was advanced. From what I was actually drawing and I was so proud of myself and I have to remember that was my point at my journey I can't laugh at myself <laughs> but I really want to <laughs> I really want I'm still kind of happy with the hair but I don't understand what was the gold thing on her head I just and then I put a ring around her head I was like what and Fun fact, when I did this first illustration, I drew it too much on one side, so I added the window to add some, to make the, the PC more balanced, and yeah, I think it worked. But now, into 2020, how I'll approach this illustration, especially with the backstory, that she is one of a guard, she is part of a group of gatherers, who go to other worlds, I was going to say country again, who goes to other worlds to collect data on the wildlife so they will think about all the chemicals and the bioorganisms. I'm sorry, I'm really hard for me to pronounce certain words. And they collect the data and they send it back to their home world and they continue on with their mission it and then that's basically their job it takes years to achieve this job not not many make it and yeah it's basically the their whole life is to go to different worlds different universes to check out these places to find an answer to find a cure for their dying planet and that that's all they have to do until some of the data they send back it can actually fix their world so everybody is dedicated everybody who does this job is dedicated because they want to save their home okay so now on to the so first of all i wouldn't give her a skirt because who the heck wears a skirt and traveling all over the place no, 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 no. Give her pants. Royal blue pants. <laughs> and I really wanted to stick with the skirt. I looked at a lot of illustration, a lot of references that had skirts. 
but I was like no it doesn't seem right because I as a someone who travels a lot I want comfort I want accessibility I just want something that's easy to move in and the easiest thing I can think to move in is pants and let's say she is a high ranking position in her job because the moon means something i don't know what yet but i just know the moon is like a medal and then she has one green stripe above on her undershirt i don't know if you reach that part yet. i'm not watching the video but i'm not watching the, the playback yet yet so i'm just going through it and she has one green stripe on her undershirt under her jacket and it represents ranking and the more stripes you get the higher the ranking you have or should it be the less stripes you get the higher ranking you have now that's confusing the more stripes you get so yeah she she found a gem it's basically a crystal and she has a little hand tablet that she's entering the data in and she's collecting the data that she's found when she's finished she's going to put back the rock she's going to put back the rock or if homeworld demands it or requests it she will send the rock over with the rock <laughs> sorry she will send the sample over with as well as her notes and then she goes on and usually it takes a good bit of years to maybe a whole life to just think one planet but yeah planet I said right it's like one planet but yeah it's diligently just think about the archaeologists just being a constant archaeologist no bricks no pleasures just constantly searching digging up recording all the stuff minus the stealing things from other countries and bringing it to, into a different country minus all that <laughs> so yeah so that's basically how it is and i turned that weird thing i had on her head i still don't understand what i was thinking to put that on but i just put this weird thing in her head and put like kind of leaves or it could be like is it a crown or like you know when in the army you could have like a general a hat maybe that's or maybe it's just a hair accessory to keep her hair in place and not flying all over the place uh but i like how it looked in her hair so i was like all right that's cute and i just wanted to replace that weird thing and i wanted to give her a cloak i did give her a cloak but i couldn't make up my mind cloak no cloak cloak no cloak and since i couldn't make up my mind i decided to have a version where she has a cloak and where she doesn't have a cloak mm -mm -mm. and i'm really happy with how this illustration come out except i know i just contradicted myself except that i don't know maybe i used too much dark colors coming down to the end or i even added a background to her because I wanted to keep the element of the window so I even added that so that's coming up later and I was just like something's off and I don't know what so hopefully I don't know maybe just take a few days for me to figure it out and I might fix it and I'll share it on my Instagram but right now this illustration was supposed to take me two days and because of my nephew it took me a week <laughs> and then because I have to start and then stop and then start and then stop and then start and then stop because he's two he's in his terrible twos and he demands attention oh my gosh I can't do anything I'll be like oh yeah let me just do he no to throw a tantrum hit bang up his head it's it's scary <laughs> it's scary so I have to wait until his mom comes home or he falls asleep to rush back to finish this illustration. Oh, okay then. So I think I talked enough and I'll meet you at the end, lovelies. Hope you enjoy the rest of the illustration.
lovelies and welcome to the end part of the video <laughs> so i hope you enjoyed that little speed paint i'm still not sure of the final piece but i'm happy with it i'm happy i'm happy <laughs> so let me show you the before bam here she is so this is how she used to look before totally plagiarized rock so look at you guys can see that bam wow, so there we are there she is her eyes are so lucky and because she'll see what is that skirt just to show like <laughs> the only thing i'm not totally not mad at is the cloak so what is this thing on her head seriously what was i thinking so that's the before and here's the after like you know put space here so like boop right there yeah the two versions yeah baby yeah <laughs> So I hope you enjoy this video that please. I know I did because I just it's just good to redraw something you already did draw like years ago to see your progress because when you're drawing every day or see yourself being artistic every day, you kinda don't see the progress because it's a slow progression over time and you just need to see that big stark contrast to let you know, hey, I'm improving. <laughs> so, you know, I like I like to say thank you so much, gentlemen. Thank you, lovely, so much, especially my patrons, Carla Finlo, YK, Princess Auntie Auntie, Rose Rollins, and me. So much for supporting me over on Patreon, and I've actually released a podcast episode where I talk about the time I got scammed. You can listen to it for just as low as one dollar. And I've never shared it anywhere before. Yeah, it's really embarrassing. <laughs> but anyhow, lovelies, thank you so much for watching. If you've made it all the way to the end of this video, the comment Cowboy Bebop. I love that show growing up. That was such a cute cartoon. <laughs> Cowboy Bebop down in the comments below and I'll to make me know that you guys actually watch this thing all the way through. And I thank you so much. Plus you'll get two points. Pixie Sticks already has two points, so you can ask her. <laughs> so thank you lovely so much and I'll see you in the next video lovelies bye